One in eight women in America get breast cancer. Um, a lot of 75% uh, of women who develop breast cancer have no, no family history of breast cancer. So I said it's never too late to start. Uh, you have to be a steward of your own care. You have to be in charge of your own health care. Um, and uh, just because you can't feel it doesn't mean there's not something there that, on the mammogram. So it's always good to start and um, it's never too late to start. A mammogram is a uh, x-ray of the breast. It's kind of like a, a chest x-ray. Uh, it's a two-dimensional picture of the breast. Uh, it's four pictures, two of each breast, uh, which allows us to look for two things, masses and calcifications. Those are the, the hallmarks of, of cancer. So we're taking a, an x-ray of the breast uh, with a very small amount of radiation to look for uh, signs of breast cancer. Every major uh, healthcare organization in America that deals with the treatment and diagnosis of breast cancer recommends starting breast can annual screening mammography at age 40. That's the American College of Radiology, the American Cancer Society, the Society of Breast Imaging, the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, uh, and every other reputable organization. Like numerous imaging modalities, there is some radiation involved, like chest x-rays and CAT scans and head CTs. There is some radiation, but it's a very low level of radiation. You get more radiation uh, annually by living in Colorado than you do from a mammogram. So it, there is a small, small, uh, very minute risk, um, but the background exposure of the average American citizen is greater than what you get from a mammogram uh, during the course of a year. So uh, we've always deemed it an acceptable risk to try and find something as hazardous to your health as breast cancer. Starting in November 2011, we started doing the 3D breast imaging, also known as tomosynthesis, and it's revolutionized our practice. We've decreased our, our callbacks from screening mammograms by about 40%, which means um, less patient anxiety, uh, decrease in medical costs, fewer unnecessary biopsies, uh, and just overall improvement in patient care. We've increased our cancer detection rate on the order of 30 to 40%. So we're doing fewer studies, finding more cancers using this 3D breast imaging, um, and that's revolutionary. Uh, and it just makes for overall better uh, patient care and better breast health. The 3D's been um, what easily the biggest. Uh, we have state-of-the-art breast MRI that we perform at the hospital and also at our outpatient center, and we also have Positon Emission Mammography, or PEM, which is a great tool for staging breast cancer and giving surgeons uh, the most de detailed information prior to surgery so that they can take the least amount of tissue and have the best surgical outcome. There's some uh, hot new topics, including molecular breast imaging, which are out there and are being well received, and we're looking into those. I think those are, are the, that's where you um, tag a radio tracer and inject it, and it targets cancer cells. Um, that's pretty exciting stuff. I think that's going to be something that uh, really takes off in the future. Um, we're going to be better with our 3D breast imaging as we go forward, as technological improvements um, continue to develop, we'll see us go from having to do 2D and 3D together to just do 3D alone, which means um, less radiation and better quality imaging uh, as we perfect the 3D imaging. Uh, MRI is, is always making improvements, but I really think between the molecular breast imaging and improvements in the 3D technology, those are the uh, where the future is going to take us.